Boom dia, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube channel, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tahutu, I believe in Run BTC. I huddled them for a long time, long time, happy long time, coffee time now. Hmm. Strange guy, yes I know. Guys, in today's short TA video, it's Saturday morning, I wish you an amazing weekend, but I'm going to give you a beautiful overview on what Bitcoin is doing, on what Ethereum is doing, how the Bam Bam is performing, and two charts that you can't miss. I'm hiding them in beautiful segments in this video, so you need to watch the whole video. Yes, make me happy, make the YouTube algorithm happy, make everybody happy, make yourself happy because you saw those charts and those charts will be beautiful for you to see because they tell you what the fuck is happening to Bitcoin. Did I say fuck? I shouldn't say fuck. YouTube doesn't like if I say fuck. That was three times. Now let's jump into the charts. Bam! Oryx. Oryx, I'm going to start with the 4-hour chart first. On this 4-hour chart, you know that I drew this yellow zigzag zig zig line like a few days ago. It seems that we are finding indeed the bottom now of that line. And which is important for me is this green line. You can see this green line coming down. We broke that. We went up. We should be retesting it and finding support in it. We are a little bit breaking that line, which is not the most positive in my opinion. We should have support over here so this candle this four hour candle should close above this green line but still if we don't then the huge green area on the bottom is also a support area so that would be the bottom coming up again trying to break 40k again maybe coming up again a little bit more high creating higher lows that is the most important part we are creating a higher low than over here this was the low i'm going to draw because sometimes you don't see my cursor this was the low and we are making a higher low, which still makes me very positive because we need to create higher lows, higher low, higher low, higher low, and we need one more higher high to be in a bullish trend again. Talking about a bullish trend, um, I think we also need to look at this chart then, uh, this one. This is, of course, uh, the one-day chart, the one-day chart that everybody is freaking out on because the one-day chart, we are seeing this dead cross coming this is a dead cross the green line crossing the red line i have been telling you so many times now i don't really see the danger in this dead cross i will show you another chart very quickly after this one to show you why i don't see that danger guys um, but there is something else on this day chart i want to show you these are the three yellow lines this yellow line over here we came from there the top to the bottom and at that moment we need to break that yellow line to become bullish so the moment we broke that downward trend line there lower highs lower high lower high lower high lower high that was the moment we broke that bam we went up and then again here we were forming the same look lower high lower high lower highs yeah yeah it's not completely perfect maybe like this and then when we broke it that is when we went parabolic up and if you look at the structure of this area, in my opinion, um, I'm going to draw it just like this area, this structure, check how it looks, like a rooftop, you know, like this, this wide area, same like we saw a little bit over here. And now we are going to look at today, look again at this, this structure, the rooftop, you know. And then we went down. After this rooftop here, we went down. After the rooftop here, we went down. And then we went sideways. And then it took us to break this yellow line to go up, to break this yellow line to go up. You know, here we went down as well. So we are doing the same, in my opinion. In my opinion, we are doing exactly the same. In my opinion, we created that rooftop, we are coming down, we are going sideways, and now there needs to be a moment that we again will break this downward coming trend line lower this is the high lower high we need to make another lower high and break it so there will be a few possibilities the shortest way of course would be from here 
that we just go up and then you know you bam break it that would be at the 48k level of course we could also go sideways for some time and then you know break it here and that would be at the 44k level we grow to it and we could also go like even deeper and then you know work up again and break it there and then it would be 42 so this is for me very important i will be watching this chart a lot and i will keep repeating the chart so that you see what we are doing but this is what we need to do we need to break this one and if we break that one look i'm going to zoom out a little bit again then if we break that one you can see here how we broke it you know we went down we went up, 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 up break then you get this parabolic run if we break that one then you get that parabolic bam run to uh, whatever level that you're thinking 140 150 160k so that is i think what is going to happen and that could even be you know all the way till let's say pff, september december something there in that area so let's see now you know how i look at that chart okay let's jump into bam this one because that is a short update i need to give you on that bear cross that dead cross that is going to happen on the 19th today or the 20th tomorrow i think and then we will see this green line crossing the red line again please zoom out or watch the video i already made about this one because in my opinion that dead cross is lagging behind and is not the most worst thing to happen we had a dead cross here on the 26th of march but the price already crashed on the 8th of march so price crash one two dead cross and during that dead cross the price was already moving upwards three points again the crash was on the 10th of march dead cross will be on the 20th uh, sorry the dead cross was on the 10th of may the diddy wake up coffee one second hmm. i'm back the crash was on the 10th of May, the dead cross will now be on the 20th of June, and the price is already moving up. So it's lagging behind. That's why I'm saying. And yes, I've been looking to all the other dead crosses as well. I made a video about that yesterday. Check yesterday's video and the video the day before, and you will see that every time it's the same. So don't tell me that I only looked at this dead cross. Every dead cross is the same. Guys, let's jump into the next chart. Bam, over here. This is beautiful. This is the Bam Bam indicator. Let's see what the Bam Bam indicator is doing on the Ethereum chart. Something different. Um, yesterday we had a short over there. Why would we have taken that short? Because of the Bam Bam indicator. I'm going to show you now why short for the newcomers that don't know yet what the Bam Bam indicator is. We see a short flag. We see a candle closing down below the yellow stepping line. This yellow stepping line. Then we are going to look as well. We see the Bam Bam crossing the white line. We also see the hero ray. And in the bottom, we see the green turning blue. And we see a red dot over there. And we can see all these confirmations. One, two, three, four, five confirmations on why we should take that short. If you would have taken that short because of the triple confirmation, let's say we take it late there. You would have made till this long flag 5.7% without leverage. With a leverage that would have been 50%. Now let's take a look at that long. Here is the long. Just talking through it very quickly. Long flag. Closing above the yellow stepping line. Bam bam is crossing the white line. White line is at level 34, we can go all the way up to 80. Green dot becoming a green area, still a little bit bluish, which is not good. It's not the most positive one. Green line is on top, which is positive. So for me, it's better when there is no blue, like over here. But even if there is blue, you could take the trade. Um, and then you would be now sit late. You would still be in a profit of 0.4%. You could have exit, but we wouldn't exit. We will exit somewhere, I think, here at uh, that level, $2,284 in Ethereum, which would be a 2.78% profit. Why that level? Because that is the top of this blue cloud at the back, the Bollinger Band cloud. So, yes, that is how the Bam Bam indicator works. Now, quick, if you want to trade those indicators, please down below the YouTube videos, 
click on those links you have the buy bit the deposit bonus i think it's two thousand six hundred dollar now you have the prime xbt deposit bonus 50 percent you have the dude x deposit bonus of 300 dollars there is many free money to trade there yes you need a deposit first then you get free money to trade but it's free money you can leverage your position higher because of that free money that's free money to trade guys so please click those links um, to use and to receive those rewards let's jump into the next two really cool charts which are really cool and i need to do it like bam this yes and i need to put my face sorry charts btc everybody knows it's you i oh, know i can leave it here okay the first chart. This chart is very interesting, of course. I've been sharing this chart already a few times, but I will repeat it now and then. We have these huge mountains, the orange ones, and then we have these lakes. And if you now look at the halving here in 2016, at that point, from that moment on, we went up to the bull run of 20K. And you can see that there is a lot of peaks, but also these small lakes. You see these small lakes you need them these are the pullbacks now look at the halving now this is the halving and now we are going up and we are making these small lakes this might look like a big lake but i can guarantee you the moment we were in this bull run this lake over here looked exactly the same huge but the moment that we uh, evolve in the jars these lakes become smaller so for this, this being the second big lake, we still need to have a third small lake and the top. And that top will be, in my opinion, around that 100k or even much higher. Very cool chart. Not a very cool chart. Bam! This one. I don't know if you can see it very good. And I need to put my face somewhere there. This is the Bitcoin RVT ratio chart. Very interesting chart. Why is this a very interesting chart, guys? Because on this chart, if you look to the bottom, you can see this RVT line. And for me, I'm always looking for trends. Let's see, I, can I draw a line? Yes, I can draw a line. And uh, the sun is a little bit bad on my screen, guys. Sorry for that. Um, so I, I'm, I'm really looking like, oh, you can't see the screen because it's, uh, yeah, I have too much sun on the screen. The negative things when you live uh, at the beach. <laughs> if that is negative you can see this line coming down like a trend line and the peaks are coming less high you see high less high high less high we didn't even come near yet we didn't even come near yet which makes me think are we now in this area now this is the area of 2017 bull run are we now making that same area now here and do we still need to touch the line the first time and the second time because during ev during every bull run we touched that line almost two times over here. One, two. Here, one, two. Even three times in this one. So we need to touch this line. Are we going to touch it now for the first time somewhere? That is the question I'm asking myself. So then this one needs to be going up again to touch the line, coming down, touch another guy, bam. You know, something like this. No, this bam, that didn't need to be there. <laughs> it was just, sorry touch it coming down touch it maybe touch it again and then down that way bam is that going to be like this also if you look at all the price lines over there you can see the bottom you have the realized price the 200 day moving average and the 200 week moving average if you look at this area here there i think we are doing exactly the same as there you see all these lines are almost the same the only thing that we have strange now is that we are fighting this line over there the dollar line which is the two on a day moving average uh, we have been fighting that one over here as well so that's not the most positive part um, and you can see we even touched the two on a week average there um, but that's all the way back in 2012 guys so this dollar line here found support many times support over here and i think we find support over here again and then move up again really cool charts one more chart bam special edition video with the many charts ah finally i have a white video again chart now so i can see again <laughs> i can see um why is this chart very uh, important this chart shows you the bitcoin energy uh, value and if you look at the bitcoin energy value then you can see that every time every time around july here you can see in the bottom of that july here you can see july we have this dip come down we have this dip 
come down. Every time in July, in the summer, we have the Bitcoin energy value oscillator coming down. And every time we come down, that is exactly before that huge run up. Bam. Bam. The two, two, two tops. Here. Bam. Bam. And these two tops, the two huge runs, these are this period over here. This period over there. So, in my opinion, it's not strange what we're seeing. It's July. We came down. If you look very closely, we are already going up. Very thick lines, Didi. Why don't you draw smaller lines? So what is the thing that I'm expecting now? I am expecting one peak, two peak, bam. That is what I'm expecting. And that is exactly what we did in history. Really cool chart. So um, that was everything for BAM today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the sound of the waves and the birds. And they are not shitting on my head like last time. Um, I thought they were going to shit. But they are not going to shit. That's why I normally sit below that roof. Now I sit here at the pool a little bit. So um, I feel safe. I feel safe. They know me by now. They know they don't need to shit with me. <laughs> on me. <laughs> but if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And please leave a comment. What do you think about these amazing charts? What do you think about our channel? Don't we deserve 50k subscribers already? We need to have like 2,000k more. Yeah, man. We need to break the 50k resistance with YouTube subs. Thanks for watching. See you later today in the Dutch AMA. Yes, today again, the Dutch AMA. I didn't do one the last two weeks. Sorry for that. Too busy. Today, Dutch AMA while I walk the beach or something like that. And tomorrow, an English AMA uh, while I walk the beach or something like that. <laughs> you just keep repeating yourself. Oh my god, this is how you make money. Bitcoins. Um, thanks for watching, guys. And see you tomorrow again. Bam! You better pray much slow.